And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment. With me, your host, Jonathan, once again, making my thoughts and trailer reaction and review. And this is for the brand new vampire film, Nosferatu. That's right, Nosferatu is basically uh, Latin for vampire. The probably number one vampire um, in movie history. The original one, cult classic, obviously. Very old movie as well. So this is kind of a new remake telling of it. I think Bill Skarsgård is playing uh, Nosferatu. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, you have Willem Dafoe in this film as well. I'm a big sucker for vampire films. I don't care what kind of what kind of vampire movie it is. You know, some are better than others. Abigail was great. You know, you have uh, Voyage of the, Dawn, of the Dawn Treader one. That one was a pretty good one. And you have what vampire movies are just like, they're fine, but they're like, eh, they're not the greatest. You know, Twilight. Different type of vampire films, obviously, but you know the real Dracula sucking vampire blood. You know, Bram Stoker's Dracula is probably my favorite vampire film of all time. You know, you have those kinds of movies, so I'm excited to see this one. So let's see what this gives us. Oh boy. Robert Edgar, huh? Nice. Uh, there it is, on the phone. It's got a Braun Stoker's feel to it. This looks cool. I like the visuals of this. Whoa, oh, okay. That's a cool shot. I like that shot. Wow. Are we gonna see him? We are here encountering the vampire. Um, yeah, I love that. That's cool. Ah, there he is. So I've come to the darkness, December, Christmas. Wow. Okay. First of all. Love the setting of it. The vibe to that looked incredible. It had, like I said before, it had a Bram Stoker's Dracula feel. If you've never seen that movie and you want to see probably one of the greatest vampire films ever made, highly recommend checking that film out. It's one of my, it's my basically my favorite vampire movie. Um, that looked eerie and creepy all at the same time, and I'm very excited for it. Like I said, I think vampire movies are just awesome. Some are better than others, like I said before, but I don't know. There's just something about vampires that's just so cool. Like, you know, whenever a new werewolf movie comes out, it's like, yeah, they're all the same, you know? Yeah, you could say the same thing about vampires, but I feel like vampires are just like, okay, you have a vampire that looks more like a bat. Or a vampire that looks more, you know, uh, uh, um... What do you call it? London time, old school London time gentleman. You know, things like that. You know, you can evolve a vampire throughout the ages, make him modern, make him, you know, like a guy like me and, you know, walking down the street normally and be a vampire at the same time. You can have him sparkle. You know, there's different versions of vampires and you can always, that changes with the age of what they make in the film. With werewolves, I, I, I just never understood the, stand, the standards of werewolves because werewolves are always the same person. It's always one guy looks at a moon, howls, and then becomes a werewolf. And it's like, eh, they never really, you know, they never change the werewolf, you know, in cinema. They always end up being the same. You know, either get bit or they have the power of becoming a vampire, uh, werewolf, and that's all it is. Vampires, like I said, changes with time, you know, regardless of what modern version of a vampire we're getting. They always end up being cool, rather right? they're the sophisticated gentlemen, or they look like, 
uh, a demon from hell or something like that. And, you know, it's always so cool just to see that. Like that Voyage one, the one that came out, I think it was like maybe last year or two years ago. The one with the vampire on the boat. That was a cool one. It, looked, it gave us Dracula, but he looked like a vampire bat. And the whole movie was just basically like that. So that was awesome. And then you got movies like Abigail that just came out. And, that you know, she was a little girl who was a vampire. And it was just awesome. So, you know, vampires are just cool. So, uh, I mean, who knows if this is going to be great. The original movie is so old. Like, literally old. Like, back when when we first saw Dracula. Good evening, Dracula. Back in white days. That's how old it is. North Feratu, that version of Dracula was so different and so... That pretty much introduced us to the us as the audience to what vampire movies were, and it was so creepy and awesome, and that's why I, that movie made me feel in love with film because when they made that film and the way it was shot, black and white, you barely hear, you know, the sounds of the of the of the, the, the vampire. You always saw his shadow and his little fingers just going like that. The way he looked, he looked at vampire but he had a, he looked like a man, the same thing. So it, it was just fascinating to me. So if we get the same vibe here in this from this movie, yeah, we got another maybe a possible another cult classic on our hands, like 10, 20 years from now. Who knows? But I mean, it could fail too. You know, there's that possibility. I like Bill Skarsgård. I think he's a great actor. His whole families are all pretty much one of our brilliant actors. His father's legendary, so there's that. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, you have you add Willem Dafoe into it, you know, might as well. You know, so I'm just very excited. So, leave me a comment below. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought about this, because honestly, the trailer doesn't really give us a lot, but just the... The tone was like enough for me to be like, this could be special. Because the tone is where the film is either going to shine or not shine. It also depends on the story too, but the tone itself. And that looked creepy. There was moments in here I'm like, okay, this is going to be, this is going to feel horror. And that's what we want from vampire movies. We want, yeah, you can have your silliness. You can have your, your comedy versions of vampires. You know, Renfield was a great vampire comedy. I love that movie. That movie was great. But you could also have your dark horror ones like Bram Stoker's Dracula. That was that scared the heck out of me as a kid. And I love that movie so much. Had Winona Ryder, you know, had uh, young Keanu Reeves, Gary Owen was was Dracula. It was brilliant. So I'm waiting to see this one and hopefully it's a cool classic. Maybe one day down the road, 10, 20 years from now, it's a cool classic. Who knows? But um we have to wait and see. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. You guys excited for Nosferatu? Not excited. Don't even know what the heck that means. I think it's Latin for vampire. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's Latin for vampire. Or vampirin. That's what they call it. But, um, I'm just very excited. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Stay tuned for more. And thank you very much. And have a good day.